What's up YouTube, Grizzly Gamer here, and today we got a pricecharting.com purchase. This is actually my first ever purchase from the website. I have my, uh, I had an account for about two years, you know, a little over two years, and I've been basically keeping track of my collection, and what else I could do is I could put games that I want on my wish list, and for games that are on my wish list, I'll get notifications saying, hey, these games are listed under market value, or these games have been listed, Shit like that. So, a game I've been really wanting as of late. I will give you a hint. I am wearing a shirt. Um, I guess I'll just... I'll just go through it. So, I got a really good deal on it, which is why I pulled the trigger. Um, I was kind of thinking about it. I was like, eh, it might be a fake. Or at least... Right? Okay. Sorry, I almost was being slightly difficult, so... We're going all in, baby. Alright. Huh. Is anything else in there? No, but they wrapped it decent. I don't remember the box being squished, but it's all good. But it happened during shipment. Yeah. yeah. That's why I was... I, whenever it has a box, I would think you'd put it in a box. This is a really, really good fucking box. Like, I'm kind of impressed. But still, let me see. Yeah. I do see some imperfections that probably happened due to shipping. Right here. See? Yeah, because it said no blemishes, so. So I would just leave kind of a crappy review for them. Like, in all honesty, I would get in contact with them and say, hey, you know, you did ship it a bubble mailer and it took some hits. You know, and I had a feeling they would do this. But... Yeah, so I had beaten Super Metroid out like a couple months can ago. Can you hold it up so we can see it? I had beaten Super Metroid about a month ago, and the original Metroid about maybe three weeks ago. And I've been, I just got Metroid 2 for the Game Boy, because I thought I had it, but then I didn't. And then I heard this was a really good Metroid game, so I decided to pick it up. The box itself goes for $27. I paid $35 for the box, and... Just keep on. Jeff Yeah. It's been years since I opened a Game Boy Advance box, so. It's not rush. There we go. So here's the tray. Huh. There's that. And I thought this was really cool that they had this, so I was very happy to see this. I usually don't care if I don't if I get inserts for certain games, but always happy to get it. And this is the game. I got to, uh, so the only thing to do now is to test it, so. So did we, real quick, did it not come with a manual? No, it didn't come with a manual. Okay. The manual's like $10, that's gettable. That can get on eBay for like maybe five bucks. I thought you got the other game, or did you get another game as well that we're waiting on still? Oh, I got another game I'm waiting on Oh, so. I don't want to ruin it for them. I just yeah. thought this was the other game. Yeah, no. So stay tuned and I'll get my DS and we'll get this going. All right, so we're gonna put this puppy in and make sure this reads Metroid Fusion. I wanna be surprised, so. Sounds like Metroid music. Bat in the dark night, what? Nice You're like, babe. don't scare me. Don't scare me, babe. It said Metroid 4. I don't know if it's supposed to say that, but it did say Metroid 4. Hmm. I'll look into that. Hmm. Where'd you see the 4 at? Uh, when the home screen came up. The other screen before that said Metroid 4. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll look into that, but it looks... If you want to restart it real quick so you can see it. No. That's good enough. That is good enough. Is that possibly the fourth Metro game? Possibly. Yeah. My only complaint is they shipped this fucker in a fucking bubble mailer, and it fucking that kind of pisses me off because this box was like an amazing fucking condition. Let me see it again. I'll so, point out all the blemishes for them, so you can see right here it took a hit. Right 
there. It took a hit. Oh, uh, that motherfucker's definitely getting a uh, getting a box protector. Next I time when you order something like this, Anthony, maybe a request they send it in a box. Yeah. Maybe get in touch and say, hey, just want to make sure I've had bad experiences where they send it in a bubble mail. I would put the other thing away first. No, don't put those in there either. Because they're going to get damaged. So get, put this in here first? Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. I really loved the box art, which is why I really shot for the box. And like I said, the manual is pretty easy to get. I can get that on eBay for like nine, ten dollars. Maybe when I get paid next, I'll see. Yeah, I'll take this out because I plan on playing this motherfucker to death. All right, so for those of you that are asking, yes, I do have, I do have a place for this. I have a safe place that it will not. Take it like a bitch anymore. Um, and well, overall, yeah, I'm satisfied. I mean, I'm gonna look at the game line a little label slightly more. Right, so yeah, this looks legit to me. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I will definitely do the. I will definitely buy from price charting again when the time comes and this has been grizzly gamer just request for a box yeah oh and i did want to let you guys know uh we are getting our WonderCon stuff tomorrow so we're gonna probably open it later on tomorrow when we get home from work so stay tuned for that WonderCon video and i have a really nice ebay unboxing to do also that will be coming this week as well so stay tuned for those videos but in the meantime i hope you liked the video comment like and subscribe and as always, keep that collection growing, stay positive, and stay the fuck away from scalpers, especially around these days. Grizzly yeah. Gamer? With everyone getting their stimulus checks, they'll want more. <laughs> yeah. Don't buy a Switch on eBay. Grizzly Gamer? Sign up.